to 7 National News. In our top story this evening, the UAE has committed to con contributing over 7 million US dollars for a number of UN development programs and funds during the year 2012. UAE ambassador officials announced the generous contribution on behalf of the delegation of the UAE. Officials say the UAE is taking a keen interest in strengthening the work of these international agencies and funds and programs. This is part of the UAE's foreign policy strategy aimed at helping the governments of developing countries countries improve their economic, social and development conditions. Funds will go towards various causes and initiatives under the UN structure, such as UNICEF and $5 million has been exclusively allocated to United Nations Entity for Gender Equality and Empowerment of Women. UAE healthcare spend is set to rise by 250% to around 122 billion dirhams by 2025, according to Dubai Health Authority officials. Statistics show that the UAE currently spends around 45 billion dirhams a year on healthcare, according to a local paper. Saeed Ali Al Shamsi, director of technical operations at the DHA, stated that the sector is expected to see a sharp rise in demand for medical services due to a rise in patients off the back of cardiovascular disease diabetes and road accidents. Authorities also said that around 2,000 hospital beds will be needed by 2025 due to an increase in the population in the country. They added that there is also a need for more specialised hospitals to deal with specific cases such as burns and cancer. A massive fire broke out on the eighth floor of a residential building in the Al Nahda area in Sharjah on Tuesday. The fire occurred around 12.50 p.m. and authorities say the joint efforts of the Dubai and Sharjah Civil Defence, along with several fire stations in the Emirate, brought the fire under control in less than one hour. At around 5 p.m., authorities were still at work to ensure the safety of Al Anika Tower. 17 floors of the building were partially burnt. No casualties have been reported, but six people who suffered from smoke inhalation had been airlifted to a hospital. Authorities revealed their initial findings show that the fire started from an apartment on the eighth floor caused by an electrical short circuit. However, they added further investigation is needed to confirm this. Evacuated families from the high-rise residential tower have been put up in various hotels until the insurance company completes its report. And over in Al Khuz, another fire broke out in a warehouse behind the Bordeaux Dubai Traffic Police Station. Firefighters fought the blaze at around 11 p.m. on Tuesday night, as thick black plumes of smoke also covered nearby buildings. The police cornered off the area and the fire was under control two hours later. Sharjah police have arrested a gang who had smuggled a number of stolen luxury vehicles out of the country. Sharjah police officials said the fraudulent methods were used to seize the high-end luxury vehicles from their owners, many of which were mortgaged to banks. According to a local paper, police received complaints from residents who said they had sold their vehicles to men claiming to be traders. But the owners then found out they had been handed fake checks. The four suspects later admitted to using counterfeit checks to buy vehicles. The case has been referred to Sharjah Public Prosecution. Up next, we have the day's business news for you, so stay with us.